and I thought I'd have a look at some MTV games. Now these are games that have got the MTV branding on it. Not every single MTV game I'm looking at. Because, you know, I, I, I make the point not to have to look at every single one. There isn't that many to pick from, but there is also the fact of uh, whether or not certain games work. Uh, there's also MTV's C Club Dead. Uh, I wanted to ha cover that, but unfortunately it's a DOS game. And um, I'm not very familiar with DOS, boss on, DOS Box on even how it works. So I tried fiddling around with it and I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. Um, I could watch a tutorial on YouTube, but I just don't care enough, if I'm honest. So I'm skipping that. So starting off, we're going to be looking at MTV Sports Snowboarding. All right, do a spin. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no music, but then again, you have to have licensed music. And in case you're wondering about the licensed music, um, it is merely so the video doesn't get blocked. I don't care about the video getting claimed. I've never cared about videos getting claimed. You don't want to see me mad. Oh, do I not want to see you mad? All right. Yeah, so that's the main reason. I just don't want the video to get blocked. And that's the reason I always... Oh. So yeah, it, it plays... Like a snowboarding game. I <laughs> is it competent? Yeah, I'm not surprised that it's competent. It, yeah, it's pretty competent is what I mean to say. Um, I'm not surprised. It's Radical Entertainment. They are a pretty decent developer. You know, they're not... They, 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 some of their games are better than others, obviously. But they're not a terrible developer by any means of the shape or form. I, there's only one snowboarding game I've ever played where I've honestly said to myself, that's a really good snowboarding game, I would, I, and I would love if that game was on PC so I could put some more time into it, and that was Amped 3. I thought Amped 3 was really good. Now, don't get me wrong, I've played um, S the SSX games before, and I think SSX Tricky is a pretty good game, but nothing beats Amped. Amped 3 just had every... It, 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 to me, Amped 3, it felt like I was playing Skate, but it was but it was snowboarding. That's how it felt to me. A um, bit more arcadey controls, obviously, but still, that's that's just it felt it had the same level of polish as as you as you could say. Plays pretty well, very responsive. Um, I don't know how to grind. I imagine grinding is probably just landing on the object will allow you to do it. Seeing as every single let's try that, try it then. No, I just smashed into it. Maybe if I... No, it. You don't get much air, so it's hard to jump onto it. If I'm honest with you, it's inoffensive. I don't think... You know, there are, it, it's, it's a much better snowboarding game compared to some games I've played. I've played some budget snowboarding games as part of the Simple 1500 series, and they were pretty bad. This is a pretty decently functioning snowboarding game. Um... I wouldn't. I don't know whether or not I would say it's the best snowboarding game on the PS1. I haven't played all of them, so. But it is definitely a very, very well responding. It, is, it responds well. The control it controls well. It's just a. It's just a decent snowboarding game. With the second game we're going to be looking at, and that is MTV Sports Pure Ride, uh, the sequel to MTV Sports Snowboarding. Um, I don't know why it's called MTV Sports Pure Ride and not Snowboarding 2. I made this point in the previous video. It's a bit weird, but I, whatever, I guess. Okay. Interesting. Th I'm going to be honest with you. Straight away, this game flows much better. The controls flow immensely better than the previous game. Kudos to you. Kudos to you, Radical Entertainment. You've actually done a pretty good, decent job of improving how the game controls and plays. Yes, it looks like how you grind is you've got to land on the thing. So that wasn't too bad. Yeah, so I'm going to be honest. The controls are much more refined in, um, compared to the previous game. Previous games controls were fine anyway, but these are much more refined. It seems to get you get momentum as you as you spin in the air. The more spins you do, the faster the spins occur. I guess I don't know how to word it. Um, so there is a momentum system in the game. Um, it feels much more, but the much better to pull off uh, tricks and such, meaning that the flow of the game is uh, is much much better. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's a uh, 
it, um, it, it's a it's a really nice improvement in comparison. Thought I was going to go higher than I actually did. Ooh, what the hell? <laughs> um, a little bit weird. Um. So yes, I I I like that. It seems like um. They realised that grinding in the previous game without ha having a dedicated button was a little bit of, of, a little bit tricky. So they, as you can see, I kind of just like warped onto the fucking uh, rail there, which I think is a better way. If you're not going to have a dedicated button, that's what you want to have, really. But yeah, I like that. Um, that's one thing I would have really liked um, to see in some other games uh, that, that have a like a free ride option. Have alternate methods to unlock levels. Like, if you can unlock the levels by playing through, like, the career mode or whatever the mode that it has in this game, great. But if you could also unlock uh, levels by, and boards um, by, you know, I have to unlock necessarily other riders. That can be done in the story mode, but unlock more levels and more boards uh, by playing uh, just the free ride mode, that'd be great. Like, just collect an icon to unlock another level. I like that feature. That's a pretty cool feature. But yeah, I, I, I'm going to be honest, like Dick said. This game is, in my opinion, a massive improvement um, over the previous. It's just refining even more. It's too bad that MTV didn't get them to do a third game, maybe on the PlayStation 2. Like, you get Radical Entertainment to do a third uh, snowboarding game on the PlayStation 2. It could have been actually re received fairly well. And um, we're looking at the third game in this series that I'm doing. And that game is MTV Sports TJ Lavin's... Ultimate BMX. This is actually going to be the final MTV Sports game I'm going to be looking at. After which, which obviously it's still going to be MTV, but it's just not of the MTV Sports brand. It's just normal MTV. In instead, we, we, we you're limited to the, to this. Oh God! Oh dear! Oh my word! What are these controls? Okay. Um, in case you're wondering. Oh, and he's off the bike. <laughs> In case you're wondering, like, my first impression, uh, the controls are fucking dog shit. Yeah, they are pretty bad. Oh, God. They are pretty bad. No wonder uh, this game is not received very well. So, if you're wondering why I say the controls are bad, they feel stiff as fuck. So, the controls are incredibly stiff. Which, like I said, one of the key things I mentioned in MTV Sports Pure Ride is that the game had good flow. The controls had good flow. You kind of need that in a, a game like this. That's the reason why Tony Hawk's was such a successful series, was the controls were pretty well, the controls were pretty much perfect in comparison to the fact that they flowed really, really well. You had a good pacing, like how you know going, you know, you you felt well rewarded if by going really fast doing um, a trick and so on and so forth. This just feels extremely stiff to perform any kind of um, trick, really. So X jumps. There's no button. From what I can tell, there's no button to speed up my character. This is the speed he goes at. Look how slow this is. You're on a fucking BMX and he's as slow as buggery. Look at this. Look how slow he is. How are you supposed to do any kind of tricks? You need to build up speed. It's common sense. You've got no excuse, Blue Shift. No excuse. Because I want to compare... When did Tony Hawk's Pro Skater come out? When did Tony Hawk's... Uh, the very first Tony Hawk's Pro, Pro Skater come out? This game came out in 2001. You, you, could, you could easily see... Hell, why didn't you just look at the previous MTV Sports games? Look at Snowboarding and Pure Ride... And you'll get an idea of how the game's supposed to flow. It's not supposed to flow like this. In case you're wondering, like I said, how it feels, it feels horrible to play this. It's clunky, there's no sense of speed, there's no pacing to this, there's no flow to the controls whatsoever. It is atrocious. It is not good in the slightest. It does not control well. It feels horrible to control. Ugh. It's just disgusting. I'm sorry, it really is. Either way, regardless, like... X does speed you up a little bit. It's not much, though. It really isn't. It's just, in comparison, the controls are just terrible. They are horribly clunky and stiff, and this just it's just not a good game. I'm just uh, going to be honest with you. Uh, and we're continuing it with MTV's Celebrity Deathmatch. 
Fantastic. Free Springer. And now to give our fighters what for, referee Mills Lane. I want a good, clean fight. And there'll be no bodyguards around to break this up. This is a fight to the death. Okay, fight is ready. <laughs> What'd you, drop a load on your pants or something? Springer, Springer. <laughs> now let's boogie down. He's calling his own name. Say your there we go. Is... Waiting for that meat to get up so I could. Let's bring him out and let the audience decide. <laughs> <stop. laughs> Look at this. You know, in a screwed up world full of whacked out crackheads and mutated groceries, you find that if you mess with me, they'll come for you. Ladies and gentlemen, we and have. And there we go. I was yes, waiting for that golden M to fill up TV. so I could use my special. I'm glad that's It's over. all the face buttons, by the way. Is starting to kick in. Well, we're out of time. Good fight. But as you could see Good from night. that fight, I didn't even have to commentate on that fight really and a Nicole Smith is about to deliver and here she's got some big old tonkers on her <laughs> God. Mills Lane. you know the rules the fight is over when one of you stops breathing okay fight is ready you shave my knuckles and you are dead understand you want some Anna action do you okay let's get it on you see? What was that? Oh. See what I mean? So much so little time. Here, boy. Here, shoe guy. No contest. Fight's over. Ladies and gentlemen, what kind of a special was that? Y'all should never underestimate Anna. Wow! But you see what, what I mean? Fight. She she you can attack by like lean, like jumping forward match. and smacking or with her tartar tartars. I'd say that's a wrap. She gets watermelons Goodbye, out and everyone. smashes them between your head. It's, it's, it, it, like most of the moves in this are a joke of some kind. You know what I mean? But yeah, I I remember having a lot of fun with this game. If I'm honest with you, it's 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 a pretty bad game it's very clunky it doesn't play very well but just for the, the just for the atmosphere of the game and the commentary and just the the, the responses like from the celebrities now it's just a funny as fuck that's just what i found it to be when i was a kid when you know i found it to be pretty funny of a game mtv's pimp my ride um i have watched a, a fair amount of this show it was a it was an okay show okay yeah, the controls are not fantastic, I will admit. Um, how the car handles is not particularly good either. As you can kind of see from... Turning's not great. I love the fact that I can absolutely fucking destroy cars. That's a cool feature, so... Okay, so my target is to gain five thousand, five grand, and how I do that is by doing stupid events around the city until I'm, until I've got enough money, basically. Okay. At the same time, I can smash this car into existence. That's literally the funnest thing about this game. Like, Boo! Get out of my face, boy! I can just absolutely destroy vehicles. Hey, boom! Get out. There we go. So yeah, um, before I can even do any pimping, which is literally like the entire point of the game, I've got to go around and collect enough cash. Which is kind of stupid, I'm not going to lie. Like, in the whole entire point of the game, pimping rides, and yet here I am having to go around with my square Minecraft son, 
You didn't. You noticed that, right? Wait, wait, wait. Roll that footage back. We have the Minecraft Sun. <laughs> We have a son. We have two sons. We also have the Minecraft son watching over us. Thank fuck for that. At least we got something positive. <laughs> There's me, I guess. <laughs> Here I am. I'm Ghostwire. Look, look at this boy. He, oh, you know he the pimp because he's got pimp on the back of his shirt. That's that's how you know he pimp. Watch the character do stupid dance, cause he's stupid. I'm sorry, I don't get ghost ghost riding or ghost whipping. Yeah, the car roll. Like, I've seen videos of this um, online and videos of where it's gone horribly wrong and it's funny as fuck. <laughs> Hello, boy! Combo! That's the funnest thing to do in the game. I'm sorry. The most fun you can have in this game is smashing into people. To think that the, you got this massive map, I dread to think the amount of money that was spent on this game, because this is not a this is not something a budget game can do. I'm just saying, it isn't something I'd expect from a budget game. Yeah. Cheers, mate. It's not something I'd expect from a budget game. Here we go. Combo move. <laughs> Literally, the most fun you can have in this game, in my opinion, is smashing into other cars. And like I said, I'd like to point out that the controls are still not fantastic. Like, the whole entire point of the game is to pimp the ride, and I don't have... I, we're, we're over 20 minutes in, and I have yet to pimp the ride. That's a bad sign. <laughs> MTV Music Generator 3, this is the remix. Alright, it is actually loading. I thought for a second there, I'm like wondering to myself, oh, is it lagging? It's not... The, the game's not lagging, this is just how the game is, because it's loading. Fair enough. So the track itself is is it get get busy? Uh, style is dance hall. We, we've picked Sean Paul. I'm, I'm I'm familiar with Sean Paul. It's been a long time since I've heard any of his music. Snoop Dogg's on there, which is funny. An outcast. I could have picked Snoop Dogg, but uh, that's the whole entire thing. So you take uh, so this game has uh, just a couple of tracks from the looks of it. What did it look like? About ten tracks total, and basically you can kind of just remix them however you like make your own tracks it's yeah you see the difference so that's the original i'll, I'll turn the music up this is going to get copyright claimed anyway so it is what it is i'm going to turn it up so you can hear it a bit better. but this is how the original song sounds the original drums as you can see, the duddy changes the drums quite a fair bit, and then concrete. Concrete makes it sound like it would have been in like GTA 3, for example. And then the bass, that's what the original is. It's a bit hard to tell with the old bass. And you can only just have duddy for that. The riffs. Again. Obviously can't change the vocals. But yeah, that's basically how you generally tend to do it. With MTV Fan Attack, quite honestly, more than likely, the most obscure MTV video game that I'm going to be talking about in this short series. Uh, okay. This journalist isn't taking you seriously. You can't let that stand. Unleash your fury and smash your room to pieces. <laughs> okay, then. Tap objects until they explode. Well, if it's going to be doing that, we're going to want to swap the screen. All right. Safe here. I'm 
basically keep clicking until you've absolutely completely destroyed everything. The racket has attracted the manager. He wants to stop you from throwing your star tantrum. Out of the question. Ransack the hotel before escaping like a prince. <laughs> what is this game? Even is this. What the hell is even that? I'm running. What even is this? Does this take me to the main menu? Thank folk. Thank folk for that. So it seems like this is just a series of mini games which follows a story where you play as a disgruntled star celebrity, I guess. Dis disgruntled celebrity who's just like basically acting like a retard going around destroying things in there because I'm a celebrity, I can do what I like kind of attitude. Very weird. And that final game is Pimp My Ride Street Racing. So you want to be a player, but your wheels ain't fly. You got to hit us up. Just have the theme song at least. Kind of ex expect it to considering this is MTV games. Just watching the intro again in its entirety. A very short intro. Pimp the ride, do what you like. Look at that. It's only on one side, I'm not going to probably do it on the other. But um, you can have three separate vinyls on each side. This is fantastic. This is exactly what I wanted. I'm only going to do it on one side. I would like to match it on the other side, but it's uh, going to be difficult to do it that way. Like, there's a lot of customization to be had there. And that's brilliant. I like that. That's very good. You can, you know, like, look, 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 what color you want the rims, how you want the uh, the front bumper. I can have it be an aluminium, chrome, gold, carbon fiber. That's fantastic. I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm going to be honest. That is brilliant. That's how it should be. It's pimp my ride. It's pimp my ride game. The whole entire fucking point should be pimping your ride. And like I said, then you have the option to also race. Oh, gear. Yeah, it's going to take me a little bit to get used to these controls. Besides the initial start, I'm not really having too much of an issue. It's fine. Well, square is break. Okay, Square seems to do a, a drift of some kind. The, I can't really fault the controls. They actually respond very nicely. They're not janky. They're not floaty. Um, they just take... It's, again, with every racing game, they just take a little bit of getting used to. Yeah. I can't fault these controls. This is exactly what a Pimp My Ride game should be. I personally believe the cars were better designed in the previous game. But again... I can't fault this. I, I honestly can't fault this. This is exactly what I'd expect from a Pimp My Ride video game. Again, it would take a little while for me to get used to the controls. But I cannot fault this. You have the ability to customise your car. Or pimp your car in this, in, in, in this respect. Combined with the fact that, you know, the driving controls are fine. I got no issue with them. Obviously, I just got to get used to them, but I'm not going to get used to them because I'm not going to play any more of the game than I than, than this. I'm probably only going to do this one race. But straight from playing this one race, I can auto already see. Control's fine. Play's fine. I can't fault this. I honestly can't. And also, there seems to be shortcuts in the level, by the way. Exactly what I wanted. It's just, too again, too bad it was a PS2 exclusive. It was again, too, a PS2 game, 2009. I wouldn't surprise me if this did not sell well. It's too bad. But um, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted in a Pimp My Ride game. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Hello and welcome to MTV Sports Skateboarding featuring Andy McDonald. I don't know why they have to say featuring Andy McDonald. It has a bunch of pro skaters in here, but whatever. So first of all, you're giving this like sensation that you're really slow. Okay, we got some music. Um, 
Yeah, really slow. Look how slow this is. It feels like there's no momentum. Um, I just hurt myself for no reason there. I don't know how I did that, but... I'll tell you one thing. There's like a half a second delay of jumping. Where there is. Press the button. By the time I press the button, he's just started crouching down. <laughs> boo! Boo! There's a delay! Boo! Boo ra! Boo ra! I can't do that apparently. Okay. I can't do what I can do in Tony Hawk's apparently. Okay. How do I get out of this fucking hellhole? Can we get out of here? Can I get out of here? Is it possible to get out of here? Yes! Get no! He's trapped! <laughs> he looked like he just got shot! Get out of it! Yes! Oh! It's. <laughs> oh, it. I just want to make the point, it, 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 this game plays like shit. That's just, I'm just telling you right now, this plays like shit. I can understand why it's got a 40 Metacritic score, like there. You're probably thinking, why did you just bump into it? Because, I, I, <laughs> there's a delay with the jump. Why? I pressed the jump within enough time to do it, but it just doesn't register it. I know it's delayed. I know it's delayed because right there I tried to perform two kick flip, two um kick flips, and the game just didn't register those button presses. <laughs> I'm faster than the game, and when you see, you can hear the CPUs just dri driving around as, and struggling as well, you know the game's <laughs> right there. I pressed the X button within enough time. Don't put me in this fucking lip. I fucking swear. It just doesn't register it. It doesn't register it, but because by the time... Put it this way, right? By the time I've done the trick right, by the time I've pressed X and pressed up and square, he's kicking off to do the ollie. <laughs> that's how That's how behind this game is. It's, it's just terrible. I can understand why people hated it. It feels like I'm going up a ramp and nothing's happening. Um, that's the game. I've, I've put I've put button comp button presses in there. It just obviously didn't register them. Deary me. Uh, so yeah. Um, MTV Sports Skateboarding. What a piece of trash. The game feels like it's lagging. It feels like it's running at like 15 frame 15 frames a second. There's delays on the jumping. There's delays on everything. In all fairness. Um, what a terrible game. I'm not surprised you got a 40 Metacritic score. I think it deserved lower than that, but okay, you know. <laughs>